If you play in tournaments for Siamese Mahjong, you can practice at home by doing what I call Siamese sprints. Forces you to make quick decisions when you first get those drawn tiles. You don't want to be sitting at that table in a tournament when someone says hurry up. Oh no, that could put me on tilt, I'm telling you right now. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes as an advanced player. If you are an intermediate player, three minutes. And if you're a beginner, try four minutes when making decisions and then push yourself to make decisions in the lower thresholds. We'll say that we're player one, so I'll get 28 tiles for each sprint. I think I would definitely play maybe news with dragons. News with dragons or the big hand. There's the big ear hand. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so I would play a two, four, six, eight hand here. I would just pull in every two, four, six, eight I can. There's an eight. And then. I would play the big ear hand. That would be the last hand under singles and pairs. There's nine tiles towards that hand. That's more than halfway. I'd go for it. Hold this as joker bait, I think. So discard these first. Joker bait for 2468. I think that's how I would do this. If you would do something differently for sprint one, write that in the comment section below and let's go on to the next one. Okay, so I was going to stop it because I'm already kind of decided. I would play Winds and Dragons right here. And then probably I would play something with dots. You could play five through nine consecutive run or one through five consecutive run. We could maybe even play a pair hand using the white. Let's see one through five pair hand with the white or five through nine pair hand consecutive runs something or other or one three five seven nine there are so many options there we've got the full sequence right there and then here i would just grab every wind and dragon i could i probably would play the concealed news hand maybe keep flexible till we run out of discards here. If you would do something differently for sprint two, write that in the comment section below.
Okay, here I would play one, two, five, six, nine, two, three, one, three, five. I think I might try, let's see, four, six, eight, two, four, six. I think I would probably play one, three, five concealed. One, three, five concealed, and then a two, four, six, eight hand. Okay, so two, four, six, eight. Four, I would not pick a hand. I would just hold every two, four, six, eight till I run out of discards. We might even be able to do something knitted with that dragon. So one, three, five concealed. Maybe use a joker or two up here to fill in the one and five. And then down here, two, four, six, eight hand category, maybe even a pair hand, if we can get more flowers, of course, the second pair hand. If I were forced to pick a hand, I might play two, four, six, eight, or we could do, let's see here, two, four, six, eight, eight. I mean, there are so many options. I would just hoard every even tile until I run out of discards and then I would pick a hand. If you would do something different here, write it in the comment section. That would be sprint three. Let's see how things went with time. Those were really challenging. I wasn't real happy with the discards, but I think there was a clear direction for each of those sprints. Let's see about the timing though. Sprint one, one minute 45. Sprint two, one minute 28. Sprint three, one minute 47. So I don't know if those would be winners or not, but it's great practice regardless. And it's a lot of fun to play. I hope you decide to give it a try. Look for the links below the video to the lesson playlist. And also I wanna give a shout out to Gladys Grad of Mahjong Madness, who came up with the idea for Siamese Mahjong. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.